Pickle. It's such a fun name and it's contemporary Indian with a twist. I'm so excited to try it out. Describe mango pickle for me. Mango pickle is, is a casual modern Indian restaurant uh, where our personal touch is delivered in the food. Okay, so why did you move to India? I moved to India, my husband is from Bombay. Okay. And it was his work which brought us there. We didn't know when we were going to return, if we were going to return, was it gonna be our home base? Um, was it gonna be for a few years, a long time? We went with an open mind. Tell me about the first time you cooked for your in-laws. How did that go? Were you uh, nervous? So the first time was when we were living there. We, we um, it was uh, one of the, it was during the monsoon and <laughs> everything was flooded and people oh, were wow. kind of, we had to stay in our homes. And I said, I'll cook, I'll make a, Gujarati meal. Brave lady, <laughs> I said it. And I cooked for the whole family, including my husband's grandmother. And everyone ate it, you know, uh, politely. And then afterwards, my mother-in-law said, okay, next time do it this way, this way, this way. People perceive the food to have a certain texture, a certain flavor, mm -hmm. and be done with, this, with certain ingredients. And then I'm coming in and I'm kind of turning it on its head, saying, well, why can't we use local ingredients mm -hmm. for this? It's still a good platform for those places. Uh, or it can it still, we can still achieve a certain texture or a certain crunch with, with local ingredients versus the traditional ingredients. And I feel like that is still being true to the tradition because in India they use what they can find locally on the markets that day. I'm doing, and I'm making my menu around what I can find at the markets that, that day as well. My, my plan yeah. right now is to dive into the essence of Indian food and apply it to where we are now, our okay. time and space. Uh, you know, that we are in Chicago, uh, we have four seasons. Uh, we, you know, I believe strongly in using local ingredients. Uh, I look at the dish and see how can that be applied to what we can get here locally. <laughs> is this uh, all encompassing? Yes, it is my life. <laughs> <laughs> This is my baby. <laughs> Why Edgewater? People are confident about their neighborhood and, and they, they're proud of their neighborhood. And it's eclectic and it's urban and, uh, and uh, it's, a, it's a sophisticated neighborhood and it's, and it's just right low key. It's our staple dish since we opened uh, is our butter chicken. We um, cook it low and slow for several hours and uh, just finish it with cream because wow. we we are not shy with the amount of butter we put in oh. there. So, so more butter, but much butter less makes cream. Everything <laughs> better. Our mung dal chila. Um, so we stay true to how you make a chila, which is a crepe uh, made of um, lentils. I did a combination of sweet potatoes and Japanese uh, sweet potatoes. So you have like the white and the orange potatoes, uh, cooked in a South Indian fashion. Um, and with a coconut chutney. Leg of lamb is a cut that's really nice when you sear it and cook it to medium rare mm -hmm. and slice it. Um, and we are preparing it that way and I'm, and I'm pairing it with a heavily spiced black pepper curry okay. to give it that, the flavor punch that, that you expect. All consuming, so many long hours, and the kitchen is still your happy place. Yes. <laughs>